Work 100 reacts to 69 getting jumped in LA Fitness Gym and this is really going crazy right now and he say pray for 69 because he is hospitalized in critical condition and this is really crazy guys but before we get into it make sure you smash that like button make sure you subscribe make sure you turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I drop a new video okay so Wak one Reg took to his Instagram to post this after 69 got jumped in LA Fitness Gym and this is what he have to say on his Instagram page let's check it out it's unfortunate what happened to 6ix9ine, he's a good guy, life is full of lessons, this isn't about his so called street situation, this is about decision making on both sides, the ones who filmed and posted themselves will remember this day for many years to come. And 6ix9ine, we now know he has to move accordingly, hashtag stay dangerous and don't hesitate, wish him a speedy recovery and he went on the caption and this is what he said they did him like this for snitching then turned around and snitched on themselves clout is the new crowd 69 i wish you speedy recovery so this is really crazy guys what you all think about this you know work 100 reaction to 69 getting jumped in la praying for him you know saying some real og stuff right here in this particular post on instagram because i think if you are one of the people that are laughing at 6 ix 9 you know that was really crazy trust me because i don't want to see no man you know get beat up and in blood in bad condition right in the hospital just for snitching you get what i'm saying 6 9 is not the only one that snitched and trust me all these code street code and stuff like that the og's code it doesn't really matter because i don't support 6 9 if 6 9 is going you know to insult people and disrespect the og's and talk crazy about people you know i don't support him on that you get what i'm saying but he snitched and that's why these latino kings jumped on him at the la gym and i said it earlier on if they jumped on him and recorded their face that's a whole ball game bro like they just snitched on themselves that's what you know what one red just said on this particular post because it's crazy these guys are gonna get arrested and remember 6ix9ine works with the police he works with the feds you already know that la police is already looking for this latino kings right they are like two guys or three guys one was videoing it and stuff like that and the one that was beating him up is saying you know i'm about to get famous now which i think is crazy that's not gangster you get what i'm saying you're just chasing cloud because if you say you're beating a rapper who is actually a celebrity you are beating him up for you to get famous i mean you know that's the most craziest stuff i ever heard on the you know on social media which i think is crazy you know this guy is trying to chase cloud get some instagram followers that's why he say i'm gonna get famous now i mean who, who does that who does that you turn back and snitched on yourself i mean karma is free bro stop all that street code it doesn't work six nine has to snitch to get out of jail trust me that's best for his own life you get what i'm saying that's his own personal decisions but we're not gonna be like okay sis now we're gonna make the decision for you and right now you know him getting beat up and stuff like that will teach him a very good lesson that's what wakwandra is trying to say you get what i'm saying it will teach him a very big lesson how to move accordingly and stuff like that which i think you know is very necessary because I said it that 6 ix 9 would have been in that gym, in that fitness gym with his securities. You get what I'm saying? Should have been there with his securities because, you know, you don't know when these guys will come at you. And 6 ix 9 was heading to the bathroom. You get what I'm saying? He was heading to the restroom and this guy followed him up and jumped on him. And it was rumored that, you know, this guy is also training at the gym these latino kings they're also training at the gym you know how la is man since now after by not moving inside that fitness gym without 
his securities. You know, he effed up big time. That's one thing I'm saying. You know, he effed up. He's a rapper who is having beef with everyone in the street. So you should be moving accordingly. You shouldn't be moving, you know, like like you know you cool with everybody you shouldn't be moving like a normal person and stuff like that you should be moving with your securities get what i'm saying which i think is really crazy and that's why you got jumped and right now these latino kings man you guys just snitched on yourselves because you know the street is clapping for you all right now but you are just running around you know you don't even know what you're doing right now because the police is all over you you get what I'm saying? They're going to get you arrested. You're going to, you know, be in jail for so long. Because 6 9 works for the police, allegedly. It's out there. You all know it. You get what I'm saying? It works with the police. So, you're going to get your ass locked up in a jail cell. Thinking about how you got famous by beating up 6 9 You know, it's really crazy. But I think this would be a very big lesson. Not only to 6 9 I think to everyone who is a rapper watching this video right now, if you have someone in your family who is a rapper, you gotta advise them. They shouldn't be spending all that money in a club, right? You know, spreading the money to 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 all those strippers and stuff like that. No, they should be saving up those money to get themselves securities whenever they are moving around. Even when they are home, they should get themselves securities, professional securities. Get what I'm saying? They should get secured. That's the first thing. When you get rich, you get yourself, you know, to a safe and safety place at all time. And it's really crazy why these rappers don't really get this, you know, piece of advice from from people like me telling you all to, you know, be well secured. Cause all eyes on you now. You get what I'm saying? All eyes on you. People are envy and jealous of you, so you have to move accordingly. You have to get yourself securities. 6 9 got a lot enough money to get a fitness gym at his house. Get it in your house. You can lodge in a hotel in, in LA that has their own personal gym. You shouldn't be moving to a public place to gym and stuff like that. Nah, bro. You know, that is crazy. And I think like, you know, these LA Latino kings just effed themselves up because it would have been a setup. You get what I'm saying? Because 6 ix 9 would be a, in a public gym, you know, going to do his thing and stuff like that. But he got all that money, private jet, splashing millions. Who said that he can't get a personal gym in his house and do his thing? Which I think is crazy. You get what I'm saying? But go ahead and share your opinions in the comment section. Tell me what you all think. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. See your favorite African brother reporting.